Hello, Internet. I just woke up. Now that I've taken a shower and looked like a badass, let's talk about Sherlock. I'm talking about BBC Sherlock, by the way. So if you're thinking I'm talking about Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr., which is amazing, by the way, you might want to go now. Anyway, Sherlock is freaking amazing, even if they gave us the biggest cliffhanger ever. And that was absolutely freaking ridiculous to get it off there. But hey, we're getting season three in November! Of course, that means we'll just have three more episodes and then an even bigger cliffhanger, and then we'll have to wait for, like, two years again. This is gonna be fun. But, oh my goodness, all the feels, I'm like drowning in feels every freaking time. Every time. I'm drowning in feels. Every time I watch it. It's ridiculous. It just like, it makes me feel all the feelings. Like, <gasps> why? Why do you do this to me, Stephen Moffat? Dang it. Mm-hmm. And now I guess I'll talk about John Locke. They're a brokey bee as far as I'm concerned. My friendships them like no other, and it gets kind of annoying. The shippers just get a little bit annoying, and uh, it's just like Dusty L shippers with Supernatural, they get annoying at times. And like Cass and Meg shippers, they get annoying at times. All these people who ship things, they get annoying at times. And it's kind of a thing we have to deal with, with shipping. I like shipping, and I like the idea of John and Sherlock being really close, but John Locke... I don't know, something about it just kind of turns me off. How the heck does Sherlock survive that fall? I give my ideas. Okay, one thing first. He absorbed the brunt of the impact with his torso, and it didn't go to his head or crush his legs, so he should be basically okay after a four-story drop. And this was in something, I can't remember where I saw this. Him put a ball in your armpit, squeeze down. The pulse in your wrist stops. That's where John checked. Also, John was extremely disoriented. I mean, he'd just seen his friend jump from a four-story building, for God's sake. And then he was hit by the biker guy. Yeah, that would disorient you a little bit, physically and mentally, while you're trying to get up. So, maybe while he was on the ground, he didn't notice a packet of fake blood being taken away from Sherlock. There's so many little obvious things that we don't pick up on, and we're not really noticing. We're always thinking of these conspiracy theories, but what about the little thing? Take how he survived the fall and had very little wounds at the end when we saw him, for instance. How did that happen? It was completely and totally obvious. It's something we didn't see. Something we were looking too hard to see. Hmm, so maybe with Reichenbach, we shouldn't be looking at all these little tiny conspiracy theories. We should be looking at things that are obvious and that are right there. I don't know, that's just my idea of it. What do you think about Sherlock, and what do you think about Sherlock surviving? Give your thoughts in the comments. I'll check them out later. Bye! So the Sherlock fandom is the fandom that Mariah is involved in that she wanted me to talk about today, so I just kind of went on a Sherlock rant, so I hope you don't mind that, Mariah. Really, I hope you don't. Anyway, uh, normal information is down in the doobly-doo. I'll see you guys tomorrow.